Hey y'all, so today I'm going to show you how you can um, put images into your Bitmoji Classroom and then embed them into hyperlinks or have hyperlinks embedded into them. And so we're going to do that today. So I have a video already explaining just the basics of creating a Bitmoji Classroom that I will link at the bottom of this video. So make sure you tune into that if you're just trying to get your classroom set up. But now you're ready to insert images and link them to other websites or other things you want your students to go to. So we're going to search the web for some images I want to put in the classroom that I want the students to be able to click on. So let's do, I'm going to say, I just want this to be like, um, to have different manipulatives for the kids. So let's just say we have a calculator. So I'm going to size that. That's going to go on here. Then I want to do an abacus. And I use transparent because that means the background of the object will not be this white color you see over here. It will be transparent, which means it'll look like it is actually on that shelf and not just a picture that you copy and pasted. So it kind of flows a little better. And that's how I got this chalkboard and the um, couch. So now we're going to go and we're going to put in our Bitmoji if that's the theme you're going with for your little banner classroom. Um, so you're going to go to your extensions and then Bitmoji and I'm just going to type in um, I've already done one before and I think I typed in read and I'm just going to pull her in here and if you need to copy it, you can right click and copy the Bitmoji into your classroom too. Make her a little smaller. All right, whatever size you think looks good. All right, so now I have my manipulatives ready to go. I have my Bitmoji staged. So now I need to get my links for these items. So I'm just going to search what I want them to be linked to. So I'm going to search an online calculator. I'm going to click the one I want, and then you're just going to copy the link. Go back to your classroom on your Google Slides, and then you're going to click the object. Then you're going to click um, Insert Link, Link It, Apply. All right, just hold on. Let's see. I don't think, I think it was busy zooming in. Apply it, so now it's linked. So now... For my abacus, I want to do, let's just do a cool math games. So let's copy this link. Again, same thing. You're going to go up here, insert link, paste the link, apply it to your classroom. Now it's linked. Now let's do an emoji. Since she's reading, I want this to be linked to a read aloud. So I'm going to do storylineonline.net. This is just a free read aloud website. So it's a great resource if you're looking for something like that for your kids. Go to insert, link it, apply it. There we go. So now your links are in there. And so now you're thinking, okay, how do I get this to my classroom? All right. The way you do that is you're just going to file, publish to web, and embed it. I'm going to have a separate video explaining all these details, but now you've got your links ready to go.